Hey guys, what's up? Lexus Sophie Leather. Um, I don't know, I'm stitching this bag and I figured, you know what? Let me uh, chit chat a little bit with you guys about um, hand stitching bags and why I hand stitch versus use my Cobra Class 4. So, I talk a lot about this on my Instagram stories, but I realize that I have a different uh, audience on YouTube, so I figured I'd share with you guys a little bit. Um, so this is gonna be really, uh, hold on. This is gonna be really um, organic, so I'm not gonna be, I don't have any bullet points or anything like that. That's not how I roll anyway. But anyway, so why do I hand stitch my bags versus using the Cobra Class 4? So number one, the main reason is I love the aesthetics of the hand stitch and the saddle stitch versus the straight stitch that that machine gives, uh, gives. Secondly, that machine will leave a pretty, pretty good foot mark, a track mark um, on your leather. Uh, and I spent a lot of money on this leather. This leather is metropolitan leather in the, in the UK. It costs a lot of money to ship here. Um, and it's aniline leather. It's colored, it's not dyed, it's aniline dyed. It's a certain way they do it. I don't know the in and outs, but it's a special way they color the leather. Struck all the way through, the feel of this leather is firm, but it's soft at the same time. Like it's firm, but when you touch it, it's really nice. I mean, it's still rigid. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, I love the leather that have really, really beautiful colors, man. Colors that you can't find anywhere. And um, yeah, anyway, so I don't want to ruin this leather. Imagine spending, you know, a couple hundred bucks getting this leather, cutting all the pieces out. Then you go to stitch it, right? And then that machine leaves a really, really nasty mark. The other thing too is <clears throat> I know how tight I want this uh, tension, right? These are my tensioners. That machine, there's a tension on there, but <clears throat> it's really, really finicky and I don't want any loose threads or anything too tight <clears throat> because then if it's the bottom bobbin is too tight, then you see the knot at the bottom. If it's too tight on top, then you see the knot at the top. And don't forget this leather is not that thick. I'm pretty sure that machine is designed for really, really thick saddle, saddlery, which I understand it works perfect. It stitches up to one inch of leather. Um, I might have the wrong sewing machine for this type of work. I think the Konso, or Konsu, I think it's pronounced, that works really, really well with this thinner leather. Um, and I know a lot of guys use that. Uh, but the reason why I do like the hand stitch as well, another reason, I don't know if I'm bullet point number four or five, I don't know. The other reason why is when you start and stop with that machine, it gets kind of wonky. And I've seen guys that really nail it um, and it looks seamless, but it's still a little bit not super perfect, you know? Um, so I have complete 100% control on how this thing looks. You know, it totally depends on how I punch the holes, uh, the tension, and not, not to forget that beautiful saddle stitch, that angle that it gives you. Another reason why, I don't know, a bullet point number 13, why I like the hand stitch, because it's really peaceful. Um, I love it, it's therapy for me, you know? Um, and you get beautiful colors. You know, I, I, I like to use Ritza Tiger Thread, it's my favorite thread, and the color uh, choices are, are really nice. Um, and don't forget, this is 0.8 millimeter thread, um, you can't get that thread. You could on the sewing machine, but it just, I don't know, for some reason it just don't look right. I, I, I don't know. So all that to say that hand stitching my bags does take a lot more time, but the end result is worth it, you know? And you know, we, I do have paying customers that want this bag. And you know, they know that this is made by hand. I make these bags not using anything that plugs in the wall. You know, it's kind of a lost art. You know, I know a lot of guys do it, but it's not the average Joe that's gonna buy this bag. In fact, it hasn't been the average Joe that, that bought these bags. It's been people that really appreciate the craft, right? And they realize, holy crap, this guy make this from scratch with his bare hands. And you know, I, I like that. There's a small group of people that are willing to pay for something like this. That's why these bags start at a thousand, a thousand dollars. It does take 30 hours and most of that is the stitching. But as you can see, I'm very, very meticulous when it comes to how I stitch. Oh, that brings me to another point. Hold on, let me check to make sure. My camera only records 10 minutes at a time, so I gotta make sure, hold on. 
where I'm at. All right, I got four minutes left. Uh, the other thing is, before I forget, see, I already forgot. Dang it. Jeez, Lapeez. I forgot what it was. I'm going to have to edit this out. Am I going to edit it out? I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, that's the other thing. That's it. I remembered. The design. The way I designed this bag, and I'm not going to go into detail, um, because it's a little trait, a little shop secret. But anyway, the way I the, the way I designed the bag, I can't use that machine anyway. I could use it for a lot of the paneling, but for the gusset, I can't use the machine. I guess I'll tell you. So a lot of the big problems with uh, people trying to make their bags is the gusset, right? How to find the right length for the gusset, the little middle part that holds the sides together. How do you find the right length for that? It's, there's math involved, you know, depending on the radius of your turn, the length and the width. It gets kind of crazy. And it's not, it's super exact, but don't forget, leather is, uh, you know, you might cut your length, not exactly 16 inches, might be 16 and an eighth. So your math's gonna be off a little bit. The way I do it is that I punch my holes on the gusset. I'm sorry, I punch my holes on the front panel. And let's say I have 185 holes. I literally count those holes. And I tell myself, I write it down. Well, on this front panel, it takes 185 holes to make, um, that I took to punch those holes. Then I punch exactly 185 holes on the gusset. And that gives me the exact true length of the gusset. And you cannot mess that up. Why? Because obviously you guys know this, but the pricking irons or the stitching irons, they're self-spacing, all right? So it makes it where it's foolproof. It, it, the, the gusset is going to be exactly the length uh, that you want. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. That's the reason why I hand stitch um, my bags versus using a machine. I'm sure that I could probably invest in a console, but I just love this look, and I have way more control. I'd hate to, you know, be 20 hours in, then it's time to stitch, and that machine goofs up or bird's nest on the bottom. Sometimes that happens where the bobbin gets all bobbled up, and it bird's nest and, or skips a stitch. I just I don't trust it. So... Yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this type. I'm trying something new, something different. Um, just a little shop talk. Nothing really special, but when I'm stitching, I'll turn the camera on. And if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, put them down below, and then I'll get back to you guys on that. All right? Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.